Smoke don't rise, fuel don't burn, sun don't shine no more. Late one night, sorrow come around, scratching at my door. But I cut my hands and break my back, dragging this bag of stones till they bury me down beneath the ground with the dust. For about a year before we made Rattlin' Bones album where we just played at our local pub under different names and um, and just played all our favourite covers and a lot of that was Buddy and Julie and Graham and Emmy Lou and the Leuven Brothers and the Carter family and all of that old stuff so that was at the same time that we were writing Rattlin' Bones so I guess it just automatically made us write songs yeah. that sound like they're influenced and by And both of us too. also being singers you know, separately, I think when we play together it naturally is a lot about vocals, you know, and the harmonies were a big part of this record. Yeah. There was a, one of the main aspects of writing this album was working our harmonies out together and the voices out together. And the idea was to write a record that required two singers rather yeah. than the sound of one we singing with yeah, another. We didn't want it to sound like either one of our solo records. We, we wanted each song to sound like it was done by a band with two singers. Ninety percent of it yeah. was, you know, just live in one room like this, you know, one large room, and everyone's sitting around, so everyone can see each other. We didn't want to have that separate, isolated feeling of being in a recording studio. We knew exactly what kind of sounding record we were after. This old-time, authentic, you know, organic-sounding record, and we just figured out that the only way to really achieve that was to do it in the fashion that they, it would have been done, you know, and that mm. meant sitting all together in a room, and it was more about the vibe in the room, the atmosphere, rather than the technical side of actually recording and making a record. And I think um, we've both, in, the, in our last few albums, separately have discovered when the technical side of music overtakes the other side mm. uh, in pursuit of making a great record. And this record was the total antithesis of that. This was just the opposite. We just wanted to make sure we got a great bunch of people in a room and had fun, and it didn't matter. Um, the production, it was very much anti-production. We just... Well, it's, but it's yeah. certainly been received well critically, and I so think... So why did we pay you any producing fees? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Oh, I shouldn't have bought that I don't, want, I don't want to get involved in this. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a lovely relationship until uh -huh. this interview. It's a long, long way to hold again Carry wrote it together, um, you know, and then there was a few um, sort of, you know, we'd go off into our separate rooms and, and write. Sometimes we'd start out writing a song together and just wouldn't click or something, but most of the time we got along pretty well mm. with, with co-writing, because yeah. um, we'd never done that before, before this album. We'd never co-written together, we'd known each other and, and played together, you, you know, 
um, on gigs and on each other's records and all that, but we'd never tried songwriting together, so that was a whole oh, that, that learning. E exactly, yeah. We well, were... And that was kind of the point of this project, was to figure out if we could do a it. A challenge. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been any failure if it didn't, because a lot of people, especially people who live closely together, have a hard time yeah. working artistically like yeah. that, because it's a different thing. Yeah, and I mean, we couldn't do it all the time either. I don't think it would work if, if that was, you know, if our career was only making albums together, I think we would end up failing miserably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it, sometimes it worked great and, and it, things just clicked and then other times we would try things out and then it would, yeah, it would end up like that. 